poppin' YouTube, it's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. You guys can tell by the title we'll be talking about what i like to call the four seasons of healing before we get into that i want you guys to stop what you're doing look at the description box below and follow out loud llc on all platforms as you guys know i've had my web show out loud for some time now and i'm now adding products such as journals stickers and pens and journaling tools um a mental health coloring book I'm adding all of that to the website and the official launch for the website will be within the next two weeks. So you guys click the link below, sign up so you can be the first to know when the products drop. I'm also going to have something very special on the website for the people that go on the website on the day that it launches. So make sure you guys follow Out Loud LLC on all platforms so you can know when it drops. Without further ado, also follow follow the TikTok. Follow Out Loud LLC's TikTok because I post a lot on TikTok um, on my business page and it, you know, it do numbers over there. Like, I'm not gonna lie, my business page be getting thousands of views and you know, it be getting attraction and everybody ready for the mental health coloring book because that's only, I, I sneak peek the coloring book on the business page TikTok and then I sneak peek the um, coloring book and the problematic mind journal, which is kind of like a, a journal that's going to kind of help you get your thoughts together, you know, to show gratitude, self-love, if you stay hydrated during the day, it's going to be all on that um, journal. So make sure you guys follow out at LLC. I have a lot of good things coming for my business and my brand. So I would love if you guys can follow over there as well as be on the lookout, you guys. I'm going to be dropping every week here on YouTube, starting out Every week let's get into four seasons of healing so i talked about this a little bit on the on uh, my business page i've already kind of went into detail about like the four seasons of healing and just what each season i've already talked about four seasons of healing on um out loud llc tiktok so make sure you guys go watch that video on the tiktok page this isn't something that i read or anything like this this is just my own made up interpretation of what i think four seasons of healing would look like and the reason why i say that is because this is just my own personal experience this is what i went through but i know i'm not the only one that goes through things like this so i think that this is very important for me to you know just speak about and talk about and how you can you know find yourself in the in the season you know in healing and you know where to move forward where to go from here so the four seasons are as follows you have your first one which is your losing season you have the second one which is your healing season third season which is your waiting season and then the fourth and final season is your winning season and i like to think of this as kind of like a circle like the circle of life kind of thing because usually what happens is once you lose and then you heal and then you wait and then you win you know, when new levels come, new devils. When you win, you win some, you lose some. So after your winning season, you can also be right back into that cycle of experiencing experiencing another loss, which is going to cause you also to heal. It's kind of just like shedding like your past. Um, I just thought of um the beginning of Megan Thee Stallion's cover, just as a snake sheds its skin. You know, we must shed our past over and over. That is kind of just like what this is. So without further ado, I'm going to be, t I'm not going to go into detail of what these seasons actually mean per se. I'm actually going to be giving you guys my own personal experience with these seasons. Like I said, I would, I told, I said it on my, um, I said it on the video that I would, you know, make a series about this. So here it is. First season, of course, like I said, is the losing season. This is a season where everything seems as if it's crumbling. Um, things start to, you know, break things start to fall apart um you really don't know what's going on you feel just this big change in your life and you're trying to get a grasp of that change and it's like you can't you it's like you can't it's just you know you're experiencing so many losses this is your losing season this season usually happens after something traumatic happens and um sometimes we lose things that are good for us sometimes we lose things that you know we needed at the time and um for me that losing season really looked like you know me losing like you know material things also just losing myself you know i felt like my losing season was just me losing a sense of myself i wasn't really feeling like myself for like the longest and to be honest i can honestly say 
I'm just now really feeling like myself again because I finally, after a couple of years, understand why I had to go through everything I had to go through. Um, I have took a lot of ills and took a lot of losses in my life. And by far, I have learned from every last one of them. I've talked about pretty much everything on my YouTube. Like if you really just go and watch my YouTube, you will understand. But, you know, I had experience, you know, people taking things from me. I have gotten scammed. I have lost hella money. Um, I have lost material things such as like a car and a house. And now I don't have my own car or my own house anymore. So it's like... I had to experience a real losing season to where God stripped me from everything. And I know that, and I know that God is very intentional. Like just because these things were stripped away from me doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. Sometimes we need to be stripped away from certain things so God can get our full attention, which had led me to start to heal. Once I noticed that my life was kind of just, it's like I, I couldn't catch a break and even still now can't catch a break. but. I realized like, hey, let me heal what is broken because it's something that God is, is wanting me to see. It's something that I'm missing. It's something that I'm lacking. What is it? And that's where we go. That's where we get into the healing season. The healing season is where, you know, you, you isolate, you take your time to fix the childhood trauma. You take your time to heal those broken wounds and, and really just get to the root of the issue. Because a lot of the times when things like that happen in our life, that is sometimes God trying to get us get, get our attention. You know, a lot of people see a lot of bad things happen in their life and they're like, well, what did I do to deserve this? Why, is this karma? What did I do? Sometimes God does that so you can put him as the center focus of what's going on. So you can get to the root of the issue. So you can heal. So you can be in your word. So you can be encouraged through Christ. So sometimes that's just what that is. And I never really looked at my situation. At first, I'm not going to lie. Let me not lie. That's the one thing I'm not going to do. I'm not going to lie. When everything like started to just like happen and like I was experiencing it was back to back to back. I'm not going to lie. I thought that I did something wrong. I was like, God, what did I do wrong? Like, did I, did I, like, did I not talk to somebody the right way? Like, did I, what did I do? Like, what is going on? And then that's the reason why it's so imp important and imperative for you to heal. Because when you heal, you get to, uh, you get to peel back layers that you didn't even know was there. You know, I had to really fix a lot of, um, broken wounds that you know i necessarily didn't give to myself or i didn't understand as you know a young you know child a young teen a young adult you know at this point i i, I just didn't understand a lot of things that was taking place in my life and it took me to heal i had to understand that yes i went through these things as a child but when you don't heal let me tell you this when you don't heal and you keep just coasting throughout life without really taking some time to really get, getting to know yourself and getting to know um those things that just make you you and just getting to the root of the issue when you don't do that you're setting yourself up for a disaster because i'm gonna I'm be real with you healing is one of the most bittersweet things i always say this it's very bittersweet it's very bitter because it's like i have to shed some stuff and let some stuff go that i might not necessarily want to let go at this time but this is what's best for me right now damn it's sweet because it's like i know once i get through with this healing journey i'm going to be better than ever so you got something to look forward to you have to you have to have to heal whatever healing looks like for you healing looks different for everyone i know i had to heal from a lot of childhood trauma and a lot of things i went through at such an early age in my life that it kind of took a toll on me as I started to become a young adult because I'm looking at things for what they really are. You know, as we start to get older, older when we're talking about childhood trauma, we start to look at things for what they really are. If you're needing to heal from, from a breakup, you can't just break up with somebody and then go talk to the, to the next person, go talk to the next guy or the next girl, and it's like, you know, I'm trying to fill a void. Stop trying to fill voids. When you heal, you can't fill a void. The only void that, that's, that's there, the only thing that you can fill yourself up with is the Holy Spirit, is praying or whatever you do to, you know, 
whatever you do, you have to go within. 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 Have to go within. Healing is just, it, it, it's, a, it's a real eye opener. I'm not going to lie. These last couple of years of my life have been a real eye opener for me. Um, like I said, even still to, to, to this day, like, it's still sometimes I get in my little, you know, sometimes I, I question like what's really going on in my life because I envision myself to be way further than what I am right now. And now I'm working towards it. I'm putting in the work. I'm doing what I got to do. I'm going back to the drawing board. I, I'm feeling like Cinderella. I'm feeling like feeling like JT, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to, you know, sometimes you got to go back to the drawing board get back get back in it and you know th that's what healing would do to you i'm telling you what because once you start to see life for what it is you everything looks differently like i don't even date the same i can't even you know do a lot of the same things i'm just at such a different place in my life now than i was a couple of years ago um my view on everything has changed like i now know that i've made mistakes that I also had to heal from because another thing I had to heal from was the fact that I didn't stay consistent as it pertains to my business and my social media. And so now I'm feeling I'm also feeling like be Simone. What she say, let's try this again. Like I'm feeling like I gotta try this again because I made I made a mistake and it and it took so much like I made a mistake and I really had to forgive myself. I had to forgive myself for not being consistent. I had to forgive myself for making mistakes. I had to forgive myself for maybe choosing the option that just didn't better suit me, but I thought at the time it did or whatever the case is. I had to really heal. I had to heal. I had to heal. And I was healing. And then what really, you know, helped me really, really heal was, you know, moving back home. I did move back home. Um... I'm not going to necessarily say like this because I don't like to say that I, I hate that I came back home. I'll say I love that I came back home. I'm so glad that I took the time to come back, see my family and also ultimately get myself together. Like mentally, I was at a bad place. Like I had my apartment. I had my car. I had my camera. Like I had, you know, everything that I needed to have in order to make the things work that I need to work, but I just wasn't doing it. I didn't feel like myself. I was still in the middle of that healing. And sometimes we don't talk about when you're healing and how it's kind of, when you're in that like healing season, it's kind of hard to move on to, which is the third season, the waiting season. The waiting season is where you seek, you're you seeking God and you're waiting for the next chapter. Because usually what happens is once we've healed, it's kind of like this little period of test. God will put you through tests to see if you really healed. You know what I'm saying? And um, I can honestly say that that's where I'm at right now. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on you know the next chapter of my life. I'm just you know you know here. It, it's it's so emotional to talk about a little bit. I, this is actually harder to talk about than than I thought it would be. So bear with me if I'm all over the place. I'm just kind of just speaking my true authentic feelings because this is what I'm going to start doing. This is what I want to start doing. This is what I need to start doing. You know, just being my true authentic self. I feel like I've been, you know, not the most authentic as, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm a very authentic person, but I feel like when it comes to just being open and just being transparent and just saying, hey, like, look, this is what I'm going through. This is all I got. And that's where I'm at right now, like, when it comes to my social media and everything else. The way this season, you also feel stagnant. Like, you feel very, very stagnant. You feel like, okay, I didn't, I didn't experience some losses. I didn't healed. I didn't got to the little issue. I'm in my word. I'm talking to God. Now I'm just waiting. I'm healed, so I can't go backwards. But I'm not fully healed or I'm not ready yet for what god is going to bless, bless me with i'm not ready for that breakthrough that winning season so what do i do and like i said i'm still in my waiting season i ended up coming back home and you know it just didn't work the way that i had planned it to work the the plan was to come home 
um, get myself together mentally and go back to Atlanta, which is where I came from. And I only wanted to go back to Atlanta, not so much for to be on the scene or anything like that, but just because that's where, you know, I could thrive, you know, when it comes to my acting and my content and everything else. However, I'm not gonna lie, a bitch has been like in a bad financial place for a long time. And, and that's also something else I have to be honest with you guys about when it, in terms of healing, like, it's, I feel almost as if it's like this spirit of poverty or lack that is like a generational curse. And because I'm trying so hard to break that, it's like every time I take a step forward, I get knocked back a couple of steps. So I came here. My plans was not to get a job. I just need to get myself together. But I'm like, I'm here. Why not get a little job? Get a little job. Um, that didn't work. Got another little job. That didn't work. Got another job. That didn't work. So I'm like, well, I'm trying to do this so I can, you know, stack and save because my goal was, well, my goal is when I move back to Atlanta, I don't want to, I don't want to work. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm so over jobs because it's no way that I've been here for not even a year and I done lost three jobs. I felt like I kept trying, 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 I kept trying to do things one way. And that's, you know, to do things like how everybody do things. You know, they work, they save money, and then they do their business. And I feel like that has always been what I thought that I should do for my business. I feel like I always needed to work and then save my money and then invest into it. I, I always felt like I had to to go the traditional route and that has actually hindered me because that's not the way that God intended it for it to go because I just feel like this if God wanted me to have a job if it was really meant for me to have a job I'll be working a job it's not, clearly not meant so that means that I have to be in this waiting season and I have to do what I know how to do and what I know how to do is cut on this camera and talk and film my content and, you know, I just recently, like I said, started my business back up. Well, I don't want to say started my business back up because I've always had out loud. But, like, I've added products on. So, now I got a new venture, a new business venture. So, at the end of the day, I'm saying all this to say, when you're in that waiting season and you're waiting for that breakthrough, you still have to move. That's, that was my whole point of saying that all that. I did kind of get like into like a venting session about my story, which was really needed, by the way, because I feel like I didn't really openly tell you guys that. But I feel like that's so important as to what I'm about to say for season four. But when you're in your waiting season, faith without works is dead. So understanding the fact that, yes, you know, God's going to come through, you know, God got you, you know, God riding for you. He's going to send you that breakthrough. You're going to be good. He's going to send you that big blessing. You straight, but you still have to move. And sometimes it's going to take those prayers. It's going to take those tough prayers, those tough decisions. You know, I had to, you know, really sit with myself and, you know, analyze what do I see myself doing for the next couple of months or for the rest of the year like what do I see myself doing do I see myself constantly working these jobs and constantly getting let down and constantly being in this repeated cycle of just losing 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 jobs losing jobs losing money losing money not being able to really be myself for real is this what I'm going to keep doing or am I going to step out on faith because you have to walk by faith and not by sight and I think a lot of that um you know keeping those jobs and going back to jobs and keep just flip-flopping and just when one don't work go to the next one that was because i needed some security and sometimes we feel like we need that security because we don't really fully trust god it's like i trust you god but i don't trust you it's like i trust you but i don't trust you enough to to know that you're going to pull through and you're going to come through and i'm just tired of living like that honestly so um, which I had started off the year saying I wasn't going to get another job anyway. And apparently I see why. And, um, that just honestly was confirmation, um, for me to just go ahead and just put the focus back into me, back into my brand, back into my business, back into the things that Jay wants to do because constantly experiencing losses like this especially when like a lot of the times the root of it is financial like i said i'm being completely honest, honest with y'all like i don't got like i don't have to cap i don't have to you know pretend like it, it it's some it, it sometimes it be financial because it's like 
I can't keep a consistent job. And also, too, I'm just, like, it's just a lot of shit that happened in my life that I can't control. Some things just happen that's just out of my control. And so, when you're feeling stagnant, you still have to move. You still have to move. It seems crazy. It seems like, man, I don't know if I could do this right now. Like, you know, I, I have lost a lot. I have healed. And 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 I don't want to make another mistake. I'm ready for this breakthrough, God. Like, this is this is what I want. You still have to move. You have to really, really fully trust God. Like, I started this, I, I started this new business venture with adding the journals and, and everything else to my um brand because I know that I need to start making moves in my business, in my brand, so I can work for myself. So I don't keep experiencing so many losses. Like, I want to be, you know, an entrepreneur, a, a social media personality, an actress. This, these are things that I have always wanted and things that I have just wasn't able to do because of past childhood trauma and things that you know I struggle with because I, I struggle like I always say I struggle growing up financially so you know I can honestly say sometimes I didn't know how to manage money I, I had I had a lack mindset too because I was around my family who also had who also operated in lack mindsets so the reason why I'm telling you guys this whole financial situation story thing is because that was the thing that I had to heal I had to change my relationship with money I had to change the way I see things because I was brought up in such a um a negative um poverty struggle background it was kind of hard for me to break away from that because when you are trying to break a generational curse it's hard it's hard it's not gonna come like this because because baby the devil stay busy and the devil knows that I'm trying to to exceed beyond what I have seen all my life he knows that he knows that so he gonna do everything to attack me to keep knocking me back to keep having me experiencing these losing seasons so where I gotta keep feeling like I have to you know keep repeating the same cycle over and sometimes like I said God allows it because you need to focus on him so that's going to go into my fourth season, which is the winning season. And I can honestly say I haven't experienced my winning season yet, um, but it's near. I feel a breakthrough really, really close, y'all. This winning season is where things get back on track. This winning season is where, you know, I start to feel like myself again. I can breathe. I'm doing the things that I want to do. I'm feeling fulfilled. I'm feeling happy. And I am so, so ready for it. So ready for it. I feel like I've been down for so long and the reason why I just want to be completely honest about this is because I have to. I feel like if I sit here and I just get it all out now, hopefully it'll kind of just help me to ease back into, you know, doing the things that I love to do because I feel like I just been holding this in because again, like I said, I don't like everybody in my business, but it is what it is. Like this is life. Um... And I'm still doing what I need to do. I'm still a bad bitch overall. So, anywho. <laughs> I'm so ready for this winning season. You know, when it comes to the breakthrough season, your winning season, you did, everything starts to make sense, right? Everything starts to make sense. And that's how I know that my breakthrough and winning season is near because everything makes sense. Like, if everything that makes sense, I wouldn't be doing this video right now. I finally understand that, hey, I had to go through this as a child. I had to experience these losses. I had to experience these losses because this is what made, made me the woman I am today. I had to heal because if I didn't heal, I wouldn't be able to sit here and talk to you guys like this. I had to wait. It's all in God's divine time and God ain't going to just bless me with something just because I say I want it. No. One thing about it, God gonna put you through the test to see how bad do you want it? How 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 hard are you gonna work for this? Like again, faith without works is dead. You can believe, you can have faith and say, God, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. But unless you really, you know, take the time to say, Hey, like, I surrender, I, I give it to you, God. I give it to you. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm done with it, but I'm still do what I need to do. I'm still put in that work, but I'm just trusting you with everything else. Until you get to that point, 
You're never going to truly be happy. You're never going to truly be fulfilled. So you have to get to that point. You have to let God handle it. Yes, the winning season, that's how I know my winning and breakthrough season is near. Because everything just clicked for me. Like, it's almost like you will get this sense of... I get it now. I know what I need to do. And for me, that was to start back, you know, being an entrepreneur, start back filming. Um, it's been it's been crazy. I've been on a wild roller coaster these past couple of years. I've had like a huge social media hiatus and it was it was necessary. As much as it has definitely broke my heart to see that, you know, I feel as if I've wasted time and and just, you know, kind of messed up my life I, i'm still young so i i had no business feeling like that you know i'm okay now i'm so at peace with my situation you know i understand that this isn't going to last for long um sometimes you got to do things you don't want to do to get to where you're trying to go and that's just the name of the game and everybody's not meant for this everybody's not built for this that's how i just know like when it's really true when god says he gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers like i'm a strong person like i don't feel like people especially the people that probably got so much to say about me like y'all couldn't walk a day in my shoes like i really hold this shit together like like a g like i i i really thug this shit out like and i just know it just be me and god it, it just be me and god like i just be thugging it out i pray i read my word i watch my sermons i i listen to him and you know like i said i started off the year saying i didn't want another job because i just wanted to go full force with my content my business and everything else because something's got to change i was like okay well you know i don't want to just be sitting around and not have you know money coming in so i needed a job i got a job and guess what god said he had to slap me in the back of the back of my head with his sandal like didn't i just tell you you don't need a job you need to get on you need to get on youtube you need to you need to do this because true enough having a business and starting a business i know i'm kind of going off topic right now i'm just venting to you guys just give me you guys the real raw honest me like period having a business it's scary it's scary because you you're going to get sales, and then sometimes you might not, and then sometimes you might not. But it really ain't no difference than me serving because sometimes I get good tips and sometimes I won't. So it really ain't no difference. So I might as well just gamble on myself. You feel me? And so that's just where I'm at right now. So trusting God, you know, going through my seasons. I went through my losing season. I, I've healed. Um, I have been waiting, and I just can't wait for the breakthrough. I can't wait for my winning season. I can't wait to to really cry tears of joy i can't wait to really be in a better position in my life and you know i'm just I, I i'm truly glad even though like i said i didn't understand it at first i'm truly truly glad that i i'm glad that certain events happened in my life the way it needed it to you know and it, it can always be worse it could have been worse y'all it could have been worse i have heard some stories like we hear stories like of people going through real shit and not to say i didn't really go through real shit but some people out here that didn't wake up there's some people out here that gotta be hospitalized some people out here that you know got kids and they're going through this stuff at least i ain't got no kids like i listen if i had kids It would be way worse. So, I, I say this to say, like, even though sometimes in our lives, like, things don't go exactly how we planned or wanted it, wanted them to go, look at these seasons. Like, look at the stuff that you lost. Heal from the stuff that you lost. See God and wait. And then you will be blessed with your winning season. Upset, I'm upset at myself with some of the choices that I made. But I know I cannot carry that hurt. I know I cannot carry that pain. I have to breathe, pray, and let go and let God. You cannot carry on that extra baggage. You know, if if you're going through whatever it is you're going through. Like I said, I'm just going through this, this thing as it pertains to me trying to get my career straight. So I can be in a, in a good place in my life. So I can be okay. And 
it takes time it takes time it takes time it takes time to build something from the ground up and like i said i was meant for this i'm built for this and i'm not ashamed about anything i've been through or anything that i'm going through because like i said it, it makes me me like i couldn't be this strong independent beautiful woman in front of you right now if i didn't go through the things that i needed to go through and if i didn't go through these four seasons if i didn't lose if i didn't heal if i didn't wait and just seek god and i, I would never get to that winning season so so i say all of this to say i created this video to let you guys know that it's okay to lose sometimes it's okay to take some l's you need those l's those l's are going to mold you those l's are going to build you those l's are going to be the reason that you come out on top every time so whatever it is that you're going through pray about it take them l's to the chin heal from it make sure you wait and during your waiting season seek god pray let go and let him deal with it and he's going to bless you he's going to reward you with the most biggest blessing your winning season your breakthrough you're going to get all of that if you just hold on and that's where i'm at right now in my life i'm just holding on like even though, like I said, things didn't go exactly how I wanted them, to, wanted them to go. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. And I refuse to give up on my dreams. I refuse to give up on something I started. And, you know, I really never gave up. Like, I feel like, did I take long breaks? Was I not the most consistent? Yeah. But I never really stopped doing YouTube. I never really stopped posting on social media. It just, I took took a break. And that's okay. And sometimes that's needed. Sometimes, um, I... I you need to be pulled away from certain things so you can see the value in things so you can see what what would happen if you don't stay on your on your grind and and that's just what it was with me but um i'm back i'm better i went through it so you don't have to go through it so take my advice learn from it follow ally llc on all platforms and again i will see you guys in the next one bye make sure y'all subscribe and like this video if you did